things. You know what the preaching of the gospel is? Bert White said this to me one time. He said, he said, if it's too good to be true, it's the gospel. This is too good to be true. I have known Scripture all my life, but I've not known Him. And the more I get to know Him, here's what I find out. It's not that He gives me deep revelations. It's that He shows me He loves everybody. Every. God, show me something deep. Okay, I love everybody. I was in Anderson County Jail just this past week. They take you right into the pod where everybody is. I'm sitting there with all these dudes. And I'm ministering this one guy. And I heard the Lord say, I've said it right with everybody in here. I've forgiven everybody in here. Now, let me say this. If you think this causes you to go out and do whatever you want to, no, God will forgive you, but Anderson County probably won't. That's why they go to prison. And God's there. But somewhere along the line, if you will mix faith that he said it all right, you'll see, you'll see that little change, you'll see it start to affect great areas of your life. I'm not telling you to do this, but you know, it's really hard for me to pass up those guys standing there with needing money. Somebody says they're cons. Well, you know what? I understand what you're saying. But I don't want to drive by and, this, you know, maybe I just drove by Jesus. I, I, I seen a rabbit run over on the road yesterday. I had so much compassion for that little old rabbit. I just said, you know what, man, I'm not going to let you just, I know you're dead, but I'm not going to let you be run over and over. I'm going to throw you out of the road. Where's our compassion? Where's our drive? To see people that's in the road picked up. You understand what I'm trying to say? I don't care if I ever preach another big service. That's the God's honest truth. That is so shallow. It's shallow. But loving you when you need to be loved, that's God. Stand up right there. I don't, you know, this makes sense to me, might not make a lick of sense to you. Oh, Lord, don't let that happen right there. Take somebody by the hand right there. ever believed in him he believed in you he is so up on you <laughs> I hear the word of the Lord for Kathy and Don let me just come right here just for them just for this. Kathy and Don come right here and let us gather around you. I'm telling you, this is generals. Come right, stand right here. Let us come right here, Kathy. And just, y'all come around this, this man and woman of God. This will be all right right here. Barry, you come up here too, sir. Benjamin, if he's back there, he can come. Let me come around where I can look at him right here in just a second. You know, when I first met this couple, and it's okay for me to say this, I'm sure, they had, they had quite a group with them. They had a lot of people that were with them. And down through the years, those people have, for whatever reason, have decided to go in other directions. And every time there was a separation, there was a tear in her heart, a 
rip in her heart because she mothered these people. She raised them up. But she never let it deter her. She kept uh, going. There's times she really wanted to quit. She even talked to me about quitting and giving up. And there's, there's times when I knew what she was going through, I wanted to say, go ahead and give it up. The Lord used her to start this ministry and then there was a board that came in and then this, this board just had this, this, this things weren't right but she never stopped and she's ministered to people that nobody else wanted to minister to and here's what I heard the Lord say tell you Kathy and Don the strongest thing about you is you're still here and today we just gather around you and we declare over you that we believe in you. But even greater than that, he believes in you. For I was in prison, and you visited me not, saith the Lord. But there was a couple that I raised up. And they came where nobody else would come. And they ministered to me. They bound up my wounds, and they poured in the oil and the wine. And publicly today says to both of you, thank you. I thank you. You have been the answer to many of a mama's prayer. You have been the remedy to broken hearts and tears that have filtered down people's faces. When nobody recognized you, and even when the government wants to shut you down and push you back, I recognize you. And I honor you. And as it seems like things try to shut down in your body, how the Lord God raises up with healing in my wings. And I declare over you, woman of God and man of God, that your season is here and your change is not coming, it is now. I lift you up and I wipe the sweat from your brow I declare over you, I am proud of you, my children. And I breathe a fresh and a new on you today. It really is a new day for the Philadelphians. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. said it right between us and you but you've said it right for humanity I just don't I'm not selfish enough just to believe this for me I believe it for everybody even those that may hate me I believe it for them Father God I believe it for every church every business I believe it you have set it straight made it right I drop below or rise above the standard of the thermostat, you stay steady in your love for me. And I thank you for that. I bless this people. I bless, I bless people everywhere. 
those in this room that may sick in their body. Father, I, I thank you, Lord God, that as we make this small little adjustment, you've set things right, not only in our spirit, but in our soul and in our body. That's what the scripture said. We believe it in our heart and we confess it with our mouth. In Jesus' name. Can you say amen? Tell somebody, say, it's a different story. Love on somebody there and say, he said it right with you. God bless you.